now I'm going to go through some announcements. So we're really excited this summer. Um, we, our students went on a mission trip. And uh, there's two parts. The first half was training. The second half was mission um, outreach to New York City. So you're going to go see all the pictures. I'm just going to kind of talk as the pictures are going. Uh, so the first part is three days in PA. We were uh, preparing ourselves for mission field. And so there's more devotional time, there's cultural training when they help us understand culture and be respectful of that. Uh, evangelism training where they taught us how to share our faith with others and those we come in contact with. Uh, understanding poverty, team building, a worship time. Uh, it's kind of like a retreat and training all rolled up into one. You'll see that as we go through. And as it goes on, you're going to also see our outreach, which we went to New York City, um, which we're really excited for. We partnered with uh, a group called Abounding Grace Ministry. And this is a church within the heart of the Lower East Side. Um, and some of the te other teens you see in here that are not from our church, that's from their church. We kind of, in the training and throughout, we connected with them and we served with them. Um, so our typical day for the mission trip uh, outreach in New York City was we wake up, get ready, we make our breakfast. We actually made all of our meals, which was different this year, which is a good challenge. Um, there was also a devotional time, a individual and corporate, and then there was also worship time in the morning. Uh, then we had lunch and head out to ministry. Most of our ministry, which you'll see coming up, um, was a kids ministry and a homeless ministry. And uh, the homeless ministry, we, there was some in Thompson Square Park, which is a, a known for homeless area that we uh, went up and talked to homeless people and connected with them. And, um, tried to bring Christ to them, as well as went to New York City Rescue Mission. And then some of the kids' ministry, uh, we, it was a, four different days. We set up carnivals, um, kind of tents, and you'll see that as they're coming up. And we ran kids' games and had prizes and had games. And there also was um, people who would speak. There would be hip-hop artists. There would be people presenting the gospel over the microphone. We'd connect individually, one-on-one. -on -one with people as well, and um, it was a really powerful experience for our kids. And I know for our teenagers, uh, we also said, okay, we're gonna go out to the streets and um, and we're gonna go and invite people in. So they were a little intimidated, uh, but they're ready to go because they're like, we're stepping out for the Lord. And so then the adults would show them how to do it and then they would go do it. And we would be with them. Parents, don't worry, we're always with your, your kids. Um, and so then they would walk up and say, hey, there's a carnival we'd like to invite you out to. There's lots of canes, there's prizes. Um, there's bounce houses, there's free food, you gotta come out. And so the whole point was that we did, did all this um, so they could hear the gospel and we could have conversations about Jesus with them. And at first the students were really, really nervous and they, did, they didn't want to do it, but they said, we're doing it for God. And then they did it and then they said it was one of the best things they've done. And they were so overjoyed, they were like, that was awesome, that was amazing. And they were really, and as you can see, it's in a, we walk up and down the streets by the projects, that's where the heart of this ministry is, which is really neat. Um, so I usually ask students some things about what they learned. So one of the questions I asked after the mission trip was, um, how did you grow in your relationship with God? What did God teach you? One of the students wrote, God taught me uh, now to step out of my comfort zone this week and trust him more. I became stronger. God showed me to be patient and understanding. And just, it's interesting that God uh, gives us the opportunities, and when they step out of that comfort zone, God comes through. And they're leaning out, God, God, help me. I, I need your help. And then God comes through, and they just see a bigger experience of God. Um, another student wrote, by doing devotions, relying heavily on prayer, trusting God, God taught me to be thankful and be bold for him. God was doing these things in the hearts of our students. Um, I became more comfortable with praying out loud, answering questions. Um, from this trip, I've learned to share thoughts God has given you because he has given them for a reason. And some students have boldness now to share amongst themselves as well. What was the biggest challenge or difficulty of the week? How did you overcome it? Uh, talking and passing out flyers to people, uh, the heat, working with the homeless, and no AC, AC the first night. The girls didn't have air conditioning, so the first night, but that was soft. Um, so God taught them to be patient, keep thinking. It wasn't about me, but it was about other people. Um, and I also asked, what was a meaningful experience uh, for them this week? Uh, working at the soup kitchen, because it felt great to serve others and what God calls us to do. Um, another student wrote about the AC, getting no sleep whatsoever the first night because um, the AC wasn't working, but I spent the night while I wasn't sleeping, I was thanking God for all the things and amenities we have back at home and praying for the people who are in conditions 
that are, that are like this every day. And God kind of put perspective of what we have in our students. Another student wrote, serving food with, was both a challenge and a blessing, but I overcame it by remembering it wasn't about me, but it was for God. And another student wrote, worship and, and training time, um, I felt Jesus so profoundly, and I felt his love. And, and these experiences are experiences that students have, they get to experience God. They also get challenged in their faith to step out and do something bigger for God and see God come through. And it's a powerful experience, powerful opportunity. And I want to thank you for your prayers. The prayers were huge for us as we were going out. We had never leaders sick. And another thing that's going on that we really appreciated your prayers. And I um, also want to thank you for all your financial support in helping us get there. And we were just so blessed for it. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> I'll just do the announcement real quick. So uh, I want to welcome any first-time visitors.